Hi everyone! Welcome to my video on the episode summary of Three Body Season 1 Episode 7. In this video, I'm going to take you through what happened in this episode, from Wang Miao's nanotech research to the rehydration of the civilization in the three-body world. I'm going to leave no detail spared, and even outline the King Wen of Zhou's calendar predictions. Make sure to pay attention, but don't worry if you get lost today, because I'm here to walk you through every step of this episode. At the end of the video, don't forget to hit that like button, and for those of you who really like it, why not hit it twice? And stick around to explore some of the other videos I have on Three Body. This is definitely one episode you don't want to miss out on. Thanks for tuning in and let's dive into the episode. In Three Body Season 1 Episode 7, Wang Miao's nanotech research is the driving force. Wang Miao has been looking into a type of nanotechnology that could be used to manipulate matter on a molecular level, in a variety of ways. At the same time, the Lord, a mysterious entity, has been watching his efforts closely and orders a halt to the research, or else Wang Miao will be eliminated. Faced with this ultimatum, Shun Yufei must act quickly to try and win over Miao. With that, she gives him a link to a virtual reality game called Three Body. Miao and Shi Qiang, an old friend of Miao's, enter the game, where they find a world full of erratic weather patterns. They experience a series of strange cold and hot temperatures, unpredictable dawns and dusks, with mountainous terrain full of fog and darkness. This world, as it turns out, is in a chaotic era, where natural disasters and unfortunate occurrences can happen at any moment. They soon find out, however, that this world also has stable eras, where the climate is mild and civilization can develop. It's during this moment that they meet King Wen of Zhou, an experienced three-body player and inhabitant of the virtual world, who introduces them to the world of three-body. King Wen of Zhou talks about a pyramid where the civilization has the ability to store its population during a chaotic era. This allows them to survive and remain until a stable era takes place. As they make their way to the pyramid, they witness two stars in the sky which signals that the long stable era is about to begin. When they reach the pyramid, King Wen of Zhou has something to propose to King Zhou. He has made a self-made calendar predicting the coming of the next long stable era, and King Zhou decides to test the accuracy of this calendar. Amazingly, the predictions turn out to be true, and King Zhou orders the civilization of Three Body to rehydrate itself before the beginning of the Long Stable Era, so they can continue to thrive and grow. Shi Qiang and Wang Miao enter the virtual reality game, Three Body, where the experience is unlike anything else. The world is full of erratic weather patterns where hot and cold temperatures wildly fluctuate, and strange dawns and dusks occur in rapid succession. The participants eventually learn that the world they have logged into is known as a chaotic era, where natural disasters can occur at any time, which can jeopardize the safety of the inhabitants. In contrast to the erratic behavior of the chaotic era, the world of Three Body is also known to have more mild climates known as stable eras. In stable eras, civilization is able to form and the inhabitants can thrive and develop. As they make their way to the pyramid, they witness two stars in the sky, which signals that the long stable era is about to begin. Soon after, they meet King Wen of Zhou, an experienced three-body player, who helps to explain the environment to them. King Wen of Zhou explains that the civilization can survive the chaotic eras by dehydrating and storing itself until a stable period begins. When this occurs, the dehydrated bodies are rolled out into the nearby lakes and the population is ready to continue its development. He also proudly introduces his self-made calendar, predicting the coming of the next long stable era. Impressed by his predictions, King Zhou orders the civilization to rehydrate before the start of the long stable era, so that the race can continue its development after the harsh cold and scorching heat has passed. Shi Chang and Wang Miao experience a world with erratic weather patterns that hamper the development of civilization. These patterns consist of periods of extreme cold and heat, alongside strange dawns and dusks that alternate rapidly. This environment is known as a chaotic era, where the population's safety is threatened due to the nature of their environment. The arrival of the long stable eras is then welcomed, as the climate becomes mild and hospitable for the development and growth of civilization. During this time, the inhabitants can build and expand, which provides a sense of security and structure to the population. King Wen of Zhou explains to the two newcomers that the civilization of Three Body is able to survive chaotic eras by dehydration, which preserves the life of the citizens and helps to maintain a delicate balance. 
Over the course of the chaotic era, the bodies of the race are stored in thick buildings until the long stable eras reiterates, at which they are rolled out into the nearby lakes and the population can continue its development. The two stars that were witnessed in the sky provide the confirmation that a long stable era is soon to be upon them. Stimulated by the incoming stable era, King Zhou orders the civilization of Three Body to rehydrate, to prepare themselves for the long period of growth and development that is to follow. During stable eras, the civilization of Three Body is known to thrive and develop the most. Cities and villages, schools and libraries, political systems and religious beliefs all rise to their greatest heights. This is due to the biological, psychological, social and political developments that occur during this period. Such advances are proven to increase productivity, making these times prosperous and full of culture. However, the long stable eras that the population enjoys is not for forever, as the return of the chaotic eras are inevitable. These times are known to be harsh, unpredictable, and filled with disaster. The stable era's advancements are quickly destroyed as the environment changes and the population has to hide behind fortified walls to survive. To prevent this, and stop the population from having to go through such damaging times, King Wen of Zhou invented a calendar that can predict the future of Three Body and the incoming of stable and chaotic eras. After being presented to King Zhou of the Three Body Civilization and having his predictions prove accurate, King Zhou decides to follow this calendar, giving his people a chance to plan out and progress within the parameters of the climate. The population of Three Body is also known to have adapted to such environments, further establishing their place on the world. Since they have become accustomed to distant memories of the long stable eras, they are able to recall what the culture was like at its highest point and continue to build on those foundations even during chaotic times. Therefore, utilizing the brilliance of minds like King Wen of Zhou, the people of Three Body can look forward to a life where they can experience a balance between good and bad, between developing and retreating. The balance of stable and chaotic eras is a testament to the adaptability of the people and an example of their courage to continue amidst the unknown. King Wen of Zhou's calendar prediction is a significant part of the episode as the entire civilization's future depends on it. With his predictions proving accurate, it is confirmed that the civilization is headed into a long, stable era. This comes as a relief to Shi Chang and Wang Miao, and for good reason as this stable era can mark a new beginning. Given the chaos and destruction of the chaotic eras, stable eras are times of growth, progress and prosperity for the people of Three Body. With the ability to predict their climate, the people will be able to develop the technological and social advancements that can carry forth even during further chaotic eras. The confirmation of King Wen's calendar prediction also marks something of a milestone for the episode's characters. With the accuracy of the predictions comes a chance to move on, and a hope that they can make something of themselves in the coming stable era. This shift in attitude brings with it a sense of optimism, as everyone realizes that success is now within reach. More so, the confirmation provides a chance for the characters to reflect on their journey and gives them the motivation to strive on into the future they're heading towards. With Wang Miao and Shi Chang's courageousness throughout the journey and King One of Zhou's intelligence and foresight, it's evident that the people are sure to make quite an impact during the era to come. The confirmation of King Wen's predictions is also one of action and humanity. In order to ensure the survival of the civilization and prosperity of the people in the coming stable era, the people must first rehydrate, and this is where we see the true dedication of the culture of Three Body. In order to return the civilization to the stable era, they must partake in a ritualistic rehydration. Even in their dehydrated form, the people show the utmost commitment to the mission, showing that the culture is still very much alive despite the many chaos eras that have passed. The commitment to the rehydration carries on as the citizens work together to traverse the pyramid of the Long River and are welcomed by King Zhou. As everyone shows faith in the upcoming era and the potential for growth and progress it brings, King Zhou praises their resilience as society is rehydrated back to its vibrant vigor. Ultimately, the rehydration is a reminder of not only the potentials of Three Body Civilization, but of the face of true determination and grit. It is a mark of intelligence and the ability to adapt to a changing climate, an ability that will prove pivotal in the civilization's future. With the civilization at the brink of success, King Zhou's call to action is the spark that will ignite the culture's progress into Four Body and beyond. 
The episode of Three Body gives us a great glimpse into the resilience of the people living in this world. They are able to survive during eras of chaos, adapting their environment to their needs, and hoping for a better tomorrow. This resilience bodes greatly for the success of the next era of the game and its future inhabitants. The completion of this episode marks a great victory, not just for the characters in Three Body, but also in an abstract sense that every viewer can appreciate. Overcoming the odds against any odds in climate is an inspiration we can all take when confronted with our own hardships, and it's this feeling of success that makes this episode great. In conclusion, this episode of Three Body Season 1 Episode 7 is a great example of resilience and determination in the face of unthinkable odds. It marks a great victory for those in the game, and viewers alike. If you found yourself inspired by this episode of Three Body, make sure to take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to show your support. The more support the series gets, the more amazing episodes it can bring you in the future. So what are you waiting for? Smash that like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.